We're here with Hall of Fame member, coach, former coach of Laney Buccaneers, Alan Sewell. Coach, how you doing this weekend? Doing great. Enjoying a lot of good rest. Take us back when you came into Laney in '84 and kind of how you built the foundation to what Laney has now. Because it, it, what you laid the foundation for has never really stopped. It kind of you built the program in '84 and on. Talk, talk us through that process. When I took over, they hadn't won a match in like five years. Um, we just worked hard, um, had a lot of great community support, um, and you know had some good athletes come in. And I like to say that that uh, uh, I drove the bus. Good Lord took over and blessed me with some good athletes, and it's been successful and 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 uh, and had a great program since. Thanks to a lot of good parents and a lot of good kids. What I've seen of Laney, you guys have had to kind of build a, almost like a brotherhood or fraternity of wrestlers and alumni. How how are you able to do that, build that culture within the Laney program? I think just way back we built um, a culture of family, you know, and, and, and when you show kids love and respect and you meet them where they are, you know, no matter what the home situation is, uh, they perform well for you. And, and, you know, that's just a good way to do things. And, and it's stayed that way. Our alumni give back. They come by to see matches. There's a bunch in the stands today uh, cheering on the, the kids. And um, had one last night from probably back in the early 90s. Um, and, uh, well, it was because he had only state championship ring. So 90, 92, not sure what year he was. But uh, uh, just a uh, good good community of people. The, every year, um, Laney is successful, and now uh, Coach Adams has taken over. How Was he one of your wrestlers when you were coaching? Was no, he wrestled at UNC Pembroke. Uh, and if you've been around a while, you know that you know UNC Pembroke and have an education program, and App State having an education program, if you look around the state of North Carolina, they, those two schools have, over the years, put out a lot of really good educators and coaches. So he came out of UNC Pembroke, uh, got into the program uh, under Coach Dan Willis, and uh, and has been able to, to do really well. You got any good Dan Willis stories for us? Uh, well, Dan Willis, actually, I coached Dan Willis in Freestyle Greco when he was at New Hanover High School, and I just started at Laney, 84, 85. So that tells his age. He's got a lot more gray hair than I do. And, uh, but he probably knows a lot more wrestling than I do. I don't know. But he's, he's done a good job in the community of, of building a lot of these kids. If you'll notice Brunswick, Pender, New Hanover County, a lot of these really good kids are training at Port City Sports Performance, which he's part owner, and uh, it's credit to him for building wrestling in the area. You were recently inducted into the North Carolina chapter of the Hall of Fame. Tell us a little bit about that. What, what, did, that, what did that mean to you? Uh, caught me by surprise. Uh, very humbling. Uh, nothing I ever expected. And um, uh, just, uh, you know, really, um, I don't know. It, it was one of the best days of my life. My mother got to be there. Uh, I moved away from the foothills of the mountains. My family never really got to see a whole lot of what I did. And, and that was just really special that they could experience that uh, with me. Really neat day. Can you um, can you think of the last time you missed a Laney match? Mm, no, I, I can't. Uh, I did miss regionals last weekend because I was in Virginia watching my son coach because he's a head coach at Fairfax High School. So um, yeah, I gotta gotta go back the boy when I can. So. Is your son now? He's the, does he also do the club up he in? He does the Nova Wrestling okay. Club. He started all that. He's built all that, and um, uh, he's in the state tournament today. Last I checked, he had one. Hopefully, going into the finals, and and uh, he's done a good job building that program there and wrestling in the area. I know you're not coaching anymore, but um, if there was one rule in wrestling you could change, what would it be? The whirly bird. 
<laughs> the whirly bird. Uh, let, let, me, let me get that on video real quick. I, get rid of the whirly no. bird. <laughs> Don't let them get out of being pinned. Yeah. Um, last question. Um, if you could give a piece of advice to a young coach, any what advice would you give to a young coach? Treat every kid like they're your best kid on the team. Love them, respect them, learn their community, learn their home life, build a culture of love and respect, and the winning will come. It might not in wins and losses the way everybody wants in a state championship, but it will in life. Okay. Coach, that's all I got. You got anything else for Carolina's Matt News? Uh, appreciate you, man. It's good to see, and Bob Malden would be really proud, as I know he's looking down and is. Well, we're, we're trying to carry on his, uh, his legacy. That's a great thing. Thank you, Coach. Thanks.